sometimes I tell you what's in my mind. Now I have a story of and I have a story of the banyan tree and three friends. Then I have in my mind the story of a relationship between a mountain and a bird. And then I have a story of a little turtle uh, who had a big adventure. Okay? Now, those who want to listen to the story of the mango tree, raise your hands. Those who want to listen to the story of the turtle's big adventure. No one. Okay. Those who want to listen to the story of the mountain and the bird. Something like it. It's coming down. 
Okay. Sometimes you've seen the planes landing. Now this little bird came down and it came near the mountain. But you see, the bird is also very sensitive. So it came to the mountain and said, Sir, may I please sit for some time? As a bird, as soon as you know, she said this, the mountain was the mountain was slowly open with her eyes and said, Oh, I know. Who was 
think, oh yeah, but, 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 uh, but how is your mother? My mom just said, uh huh, please. And so this word went on. La, la, la. I'm singing a lot of songs. And so I'm talking about other animals and birds. And said, oh, I love to travel, like go to other lands. You know, in other places, there's a lot of thing on conservatism. They live on that. They worship the trees so much. They think there are spirits. In Rajasthan, also they feel like that. I wish the cities were not so cruel to the trees. And so started talking. And then this bird also became. The grandchild came, but there was a little difference. You know this mountain? Like how you sit on the bench and sometimes. Yeah, exactly. So now this mountain note was very sensitive. It says, oh, there's something not right. And then this bird had this beak up in the air. Hi. You know what? I just don't know why my mother goes, I'm on point every morning. She tells me I'm going to tell stories. Ah. 
house. This is your house. This is your grandmother's house. This is where we all began. And, and he didn't stop. He said, so much of terrorism, so much of fighting. Everyone is fighting each other. In my family also, all of them are fighting. So I want to the quiet place. I want to come and stay with you forever. But I did not listen to my grandmother. I did not listen to my mother. So will you do me one small help? And the mountain asked what? Will you please start telling me all the stories? <laughs> so the mountain began to tell the stories to the Isn't that a beautiful ending? Or the other, 
children delight me. They just delight me. Boys, girls, uh, children who have uh, problems with their limbs, children who have problems with their eyesight, children who have problems speaking, children who have problems listening, children who have problems with uh, uh, studying there. Uh, they have a, a very much intelligent mind. It's so natural for you, isn't it? But there are children for whom this act is a mountainous task. But all these children were very, very delighted to hear about Gandhi and to know about Gandhi and to look at spinning and to look at trees. So what's going on? But what happens when some people are angry? What will they do? They want, uh, they want justice, they say. They go in the streets and they say, we want justice, we want justice, isn't it? Huh? And uh, they say, okay, let's do one thing. Let's take stones and throw at uh, uh, the buses. Let's burn buses. Let's uh, hit uh, stores. Let's loot everything. Let's kill. There are many, many places where you know every other day you see there is a form of explosion happening, isn't it? But, Story of Buddha and the pigeon. What was Buddha's first name? Do you know? Siddhartha. Siddhartha I was playing with his friend Devadatta, with his cousin Devadatta, and they were uh, having uh, Devadatta was having arrow and uh, bow and arrow, and he was just playing, and uh, there was a pigeon flying in the sky, and he just shot an arrow at it. Pigeon was harmlessly flying in the sky, you know, and this Devadatta shot an arrow at the pigeon. The pigeon just fell at the feet of Siddhartha, young boy who was also playing there. And Siddhartha took that pigeon in his hands and uh, softly, can you hold your hands like that? We are holding a pigeon. Can you show me? You know, there is life in between your hands. There's a heart beating. There's a heart beating. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? And he went it so softly into his heart and he nicely carried it, removed the arrow, took medicine and held it close to his heart. You can crush a bit in this way. You have to hold it very, very soft. And he held it there like that. They were the same. He said, that pigeon is mine. Siddhartha said, no, it is mine. He said, no, I shot the arrow and it fell down. So it is mine. Give it to me. It is my pigeon. Siddhartha said, no, it is my pigeon. Whose pigeon do you think it is? Why? Because he saved it from certain death, where the Devadatta was killing it. So the land belongs to people who save it and not to people who destroy it, is it not? Yes or no? That we had from Gandhi this side, in that you saw. There are so many people who remember Gandhi, and we see his picture oh, everywhere. You know, one incident happened in Gandhi's life in 1896. How many years ago was that? What do you do? What do you do to know that? You minus 1896 from 2005. How many years ago was that? 1896 minus 2005. Minus 1896. I know you are all very good in mathematics. I know. Hundred times. Hundred times. Okay, I leave it to you to calculate. In 1896. Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi, then he was not called Mahatma yet because he was a young man who was a lawyer. He had gone to India and he 
he had the slave law and he came back to India. He was a very, very shy man. He, wouldn't, he was not at all um, brave enough to come and stand on the stage and speak. He was very shy. He didn't want to go and ask anybody for any favor. He didn't want to go and say, I am a lawyer, give me work. No, he was a very, very shy man. And he got some uh, assignment to go to South Africa because he was not getting any job in India. People were not giving him a job. So he went to South Africa. Then he had uh, seen some uh, injustice done to Indians because Indians were asked to carry a pass uh, which, uh, which allowed them to walk in certain streets and did not allow them to walk in certain streets. Would you like that happening to you? You know, if they say that you can walk in, uh, you, you cannot walk on off road. Can that happen? Only white people can walk in this street. Black people cannot walk on that street. Is it nice? Certainly not, isn't it? Because the land belongs to everybody. The land belongs to you and me, and the trees, and the stones, and the animals. Is it not? And everybody, every color, everything, the land belongs to them. So Gandhi did a little strike and got something done. He came back to India and he said, I have to take my wife and my child back to South Africa because he had to live in South Africa for a long time. So they took the ship. They took the wheel. Can you walk to South Africa? No, Those days aircraft travel was very, 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 very expensive. So they all traveled by ship. So they, they went by ship. In the urban, the place in South Africa, there were many white people who gathered and said, this Gandhi has been talking about uh, what is happening in South Africa. In India, a lot of people, he has given some speeches. If this Gandhi gets down from the ship, we will We will throw stones and we will beat him up. So, um, for 21 days, the ship was standing in the sea because there were a lot of people gathered in the harbor and they were saying, we will beat Gandhi if he comes down from the ship. The ship's captain and all the other passengers, they were they all got down, his wife and children, they all got down from the ship and they went away. Only Gandhi was left in the ship. The ship's captain told him, uh, his name was Mohan, isn't it? You know Gandhi's name was Mohan? Mohan Das, Karanjan, Gandhi. So Mohan, I'll give you a police officer's uniform. Will you please wear that and get down in the night? So that people will not know this is young. Mohan Das, Karanjan, Gandhi getting down and they will not be there in the middle of the night. Police use it. She told him, please get into my cycle rickshaw. I will take him where I take you, wherever you are going. So she took him to his friend's house. And there his wife and children were already sitting there. He went in there and again one crowd gathered there in front of his friend's house. And they started Chanting slogans say, Gandhi, come out, otherwise we burn this house down. Back door and he went away somewhere. How do you think the same man could take two different kinds of decisions on the same day? Coming down from the ship, he said, no, no, I don't want to wear police officer's uniform. I want to go myself down. But in his friend's house, he wore the police officer's uniform and he went out. How do you think this is possible? Yes, yes. Excuse me, yeah. What is your name? Aparna. Aparna, is, I think most of you have already answered that and very, very bright uh, children here. I'm very happy. Uh, coming down from the ship, thank you, Aparna. Coming down from the ship, it was just himself. But the, there it was his friend's house that might be burnt down. So he, he took the contrary decision. Is it not? And what is the best 
solution in that moment. And here was a man who was so brave and so, do you think he deserves the title father of the nation? He was not afraid to be hit. He did not have a policeman to escort him anywhere till he died. He said, I don't want any bodyguards, I don't want anybody, I, my message is my life. Okay, I actually have a picture of that uh, ship where uh, people are standing outside in 1896 and waiting to hit Gandhi with a stone. I will bring it uh, out later, I have a, a, in a book there. But uh, one thing I'd like to share with you is one of the major things that Gandhi was interested in was how are we going to clean our ship? That was his major interest, you know. He said, people have to think of nature, people have to think of how they are cleaning the environment, how they are keeping the... Do you not tell the house or a big flat? You see, it might be a small apartment. It takes a small little pot, plant a few seeds, and before you come to school, water it. And every day you look after it. And by the time you are in class 2, when it grows bigger, you take it out of the pot and plant it in the soil. By the time you are in class 2, what will happen? It will be a nice big tree. And then you can say that is my tree. You can show everybody anywhere on the road. All your family members will proudly say that this is my tree. You understand? Now I'll show you how my tree is going to be a tree. Okay. Two by ten. Okay. And then you go round and round the tree first. Yeah. And then this is the shade of the tree. So the sun goes in the tree so hard. Yeah. 
Matt Brayman, you're saying? And then it came very close to the mountain. Came to the mountain and said, Sir, may I please rest on your mountain? I forgot my little ring. <laughs> the mountain has not spoken to anyone all these years, isn't it? So what did the mountain do? Slowly opened its eyes. And felt someone sitting on the chair. Oh, 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 Hello, hello. Just a minute. I don't even know your name. I don't know how you look. Can you go a little slow? Oh, you don't have any friends. No. Nobody, huh? Yeah. Then okay, I'll be your friend. Wonderful. Will you be my special friend? Special friend? Okay. Why three days? Because it will take that much time for my wings to become alright. <laughs> okay. The pleasure is mine. And then this bird started telling lot of stories. You know, in that green, green forest, it's so beautiful. Huge trunk for the badminton. Oh, so nice. Sometimes I go swing, swing, swing. Now, the bird, what did the mountain do? Very patient, very happy. The mountain said, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I see. Huge elephant. Oh. Remember his promise. You remember his promise? 
Do we keep up our promises? No. Thank you. 